Welcome to the Sphere Deck, which is Forex Trading for Dummies. It's a basic guide for complete beginners on how to trade the Forex markets successfully. Now, in terms of this uh, tutorial, what I want to do is illustrate what it really takes to achieve success with 10 clips uh, from Bruce Lee movies and 20 quotes from him. Now, in terms of regular viewers of my videos, they'll know I use uh, single clips of Bruce Lee to illustrate points in them. Uh, this video has got all my clips in it and also a few new ones and my favourite 20 quotes. Now, in terms of uh, many people watching this video, uh, they'll be thinking, what can Bruce Lee really teach us about Forex trading? Um, there's a lot actually. It's really to do with the mindset and execution of method and the type of method that you need. Now, before we go to the movie clips, I just want to focus on a statistic which most people know, yet most traders don't reflect on it. Um, if they did, they'd see the real way to win at Forex trading. It's this, 90% of traders uh, lose money in the Forex markets. It's a well-known fact. But what traders don't dwell on is that fact has remained consistent over the years. So 50 years ago, um, the same amount of traders lost as they do today. 50 years into the future, the same percentage will lose. Well, that is telling us something. Um, there's a constant there which causes them to lose. It's human psychology. They cannot trade with control. And if you think about it, just the last 30 years, how many advances in technology have we seen? We've seen the internet that allows us to trade instantly, very cheaply online. We get the latest news at the click of a mouse. We've got immensely powerful computers which can back test years of strategy in just a few seconds, yet the same percentage of traders always lose money. So what that is telling us is obviously to do with psychology. Also is telling us the complicated systems do not beat simple systems, okay? Simple systems are all you need, but you do actually need to have the right mindset. Now, the big focus for most beginners coming in the market is knowledge. They want knowledge. They want to know how to beat the market, they want a complicated strategy, they think the more effort that they make, the better a trader they're going to be. But they do not focus on self-knowledge. Now, self-knowledge will give you the ability to act with discipline under pressure, and that is something that most traders cannot do. If you look back on a Forex chart, don't those trends look so obvious? They always do, but when you try and trade them, your emotions are in play. You want to run those losses, you know, tempt to take your profits early before they get away. You want to argue with the market because you've got an opinion. And that leads to disaster. The way to win is to have a high state of emotional control and trade what is. So what is actually happening on the chart right now, you need to trade it. Now, I want to come back and discuss um, some other key points in terms of achieving Forex trading success. But first of all, I'm going to show uh, my 10 clips okay now i put what each clip means to me okay i'm sure you'll probably guess what it means to me put it on the clips anyway if you watch the clips i will then be back in a moment we'll just discuss them in more detail and you know how to really get the mindset of total confidence for trading success so here are the clips i'll be back shortly Don't hit back. Bolo. Ah! You still think of yourself Chinese or do you ever think of yourself as North American? You, you, uh, you know what I want to think of myself? As a human being. Because I mean, I don't want to sound like, you know, as Confucius say, hey, but under the sky, under the heaven, man, there is but one family. It just so happened, man, that people are different. Okay, we got to go. Thank you, Bruce Lee, for coming hey, here. When Thank I you for look watching. around, I always learn something, and that is to be always yourself and to express yourself, to have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful 
personality and duplicate him. Now, that seems to me that that is the prevalent thing happening in Hong Kong. Like they always copy mannerism, but they never start from the very root of his being, and that is, how can I be me? So what I'm saying, actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of both. I mean, here it is, the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony, not if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it is not only, I mean, so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. <laughs> Ying Yang, eh? You're right, man. That's it. <laughs> All right, for instance, you will read it in a book, in a magazine and everything, that when somebody grabs you, you will first do this and then this and then and then and then and then thousands of steps before you do a single thing. Of course, these kind of magazine would uh, teach you to be feared by your enemies and admired by your friends and everything. Thing. But uh, in Kung Fu, it always involves a very fast motion. Like, for instance, a guy grabbing your hand. It's not the idea to do so many steps. Step him right on the instep. He'll let go. This is what we mean by simplicity. Same thing in striking and in everything. It has to be based on a very minimum motion so that everything would be directly expressed. <laughs> One motion. And he's gone. Doing it gracefully, not to go, ah, yeah. You see, actually, I do not teach, you know, karate because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as, like, Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. Mm. But basically, we have only two hands and two feet. So styles tends to uh, 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 not only separate men, you know, because they have their own doctrines and then the doctrine became the gospel truth, you know, that you cannot change, you know. And, but if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know. I mean, that way it's a process of continuing growth. Exhibition, we need emotional content. Try again. I said emotional content, not anger. Now try again with me. did it feel to you? Let me think. Don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Do you understand? Never take your eyes off your opponent, even when you bow. That's it. You are not ready. I know. Like everyone else, you want to learn the way to win, but never to accept the way to lose. To accept defeat, to learn to die is to be liberated from it. So when tomorrow comes, you must free your ambitious mind 
and learn the art of dying. What are your thoughts when facing an opponent? There is no opponent. And why is that? Because the word I does not exist. A good martial artist does not become tense but ready. Not thinking yet, not dreaming. Ready for whatever may come. When the opponent expands, I contract. And when he contracts, I expand. And when there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. As if empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Like that, you see? I see, I get the idea. Welcome back after those uh, 10 clips, I think, for me. They sum up uh, what is needed for Forex trading success. And in terms of the one there on method, that step on the instep really does basically show you simple is best. If you make things too complicated, you will just never win in Forex trading. Okay, you've got to be very, very simple and very decisive in what you do. Now, in terms of the markets, um, they are constantly changing before us. We need to trade what is, what is happening right now. And what we need to do is we need to appreciate that we are going to have losses. They, but yeah, losses are the route to success. You've got to learn the art of dying in fighting. You've got to learn the art of taking losses cheerfully to win in Forex trading. Obviously, if you run your winners on the other side, yeah, the losses really, really don't matter. Now, in terms of the clips, um, you know, there's a big focus there on mindset. You saw him say about emotional content. Emotional content is basically having a high degree of discipline, always keeping your eye on the ball, always basically be prepared to act decisively. Now, in another of those clips, he also makes the point about instincts and control. Um, you do actually have to rely on your instincts in the markets, but you do actually have to have rules that you abide by. Now, this brings me to a point which I think most beginners don't understand. You, you have the learning curve in Forex trading, um, the curve of being in charge of money under pressure when you do not know what is going to happen in the future. That is very hard for most traders. Most traders come in the markets and they do not want to take responsibility for what they do. You have to. Um, but it's not intimidating. It's actually quite liberating after a while because it's an, you know, a challenge. It's a challenge that you know you can win. Now, the last two clips that I did were basically about you do not have an opponent in terms of the market. You know, your real opponent is yourself. It's your emotional makeup that is going to cause you to lose. Now, the, the last two quotes or clips, sorry, um, really just focus on seeing what is. You know, you notice there where he says, you know, I don't strike, it strikes all by itself. It's an instinctive reaction. And the water quote, is my favourite quote uh, of all time from Bruce Lee. Um, you go with the flow, you go with what is happening right now. Now, in terms of uh, individuals, you know, we are all capable of winning at Forex trading. We will only ever win if we have a strategy that we've researched and suits our personality. I think most traders are beaten before they come in the markets. They really do not believe that they can win. And you know, I, I hope those um, clips show you how you can win, why you can win, and why most traders lose, because they won't think about what is in those clips. Now, to finish off with, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 20 more quotes from Bruce Lee, which I think are just highly motivational quotes for achieving things in life, not just in the Forex markets. But yeah, if you wanna become a Forex trader, there is a lot you can learn from Bruce Lee, and there is nothing to stop you winning if you get the right mindset and a simple strategy. So let's finish off with the 20 quotes. Thank you for watching me as per usual. Take care. Have a good day.